Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's been about two days since this game officially came out, although, you know, a lot of people broke street dates, a lot of stores broke street dates, rather. So a lot of people have been playing for a while. And I uh, just wanted to share some of my discoveries. Uh, this will be about uh, a couple of tips about maximizing your juggle damage, and this is uh, specific for Marduk right now, but uh, it might be useful for other characters, I don't know. And uh, the first step to understanding what's going on here is the scaling. The uh, scaling in this game is very strange, even stranger than it was in Tekken 6. Um, if you look, you know, ground and hitting moves here. Not ground and hitting moves, excuse me, moves that, you know, when you're both standing, you hit them. 135%, you see that on the left. You know, obviously this includes launchers. And then uh, the scaling takes a big hit on the second hit. Boom. Or the first hit when they're floated. It's a 60%. It's a lot. A lot less. <laughs> and then uh, the follow-up is after that. Instantly go to 50%. And then eventually if you keep going, you go to, uh, down to 40%. And so on. Now, uh, Marduk is kind of a special case here. Because his air throw enders always connect at 100% damage there, you see. The 1 plus 3 and 2 plus 4 air throws are both 18 damage. And then the 4, 4, 1 plus 2 ender is 22 damage. So, let's talk a little bit about uh, the tag assaults. You, obviously, this is how you uh, maximize the damage out of your juggles, right? You know, for a basic example here. Boom. And you always want to get the most damage out of that, I feel, because when you do it, you gift your opponent's partner rage. And, you know, especially with the crazy damage in this game, that's something you don't want to, you know, you want to make the most of it. You don't want to gift them rage for, for free by doing a, a juggle with, you know, that similar damage to a juggle that you could have done on your own. Uh, obviously, this is mainly for uh, open, open areas. Nothing about walls here yet, so I'll eventually get to that. Uh, so here's, uh, here's what I, here's what I feel is the best way to approach this with Marduk, because I, I don't know, you know, I'm using Dragonoff here, you could be using whoever you want, you know, Jane or something, I don't know, and, uh, ideally, whoever you're using with Marduk, you want to, you want their tag assault flow to be more than this much damage, down 4, 3, 1, 2, because that's his usual filler after a bound, 36 damage, it's been, uh, it's been, toned down a lot since the second 5.0 days. So, my example for Dragonov, forward 443, 66 damage. That's a very good chunk of damage. So you want to find that, and ideally you want to find that that he can follow up with with the dash up into air throw, like I showed earlier. I'll show it one more time. And uh, I apologize, I have, my execution is a little off here because while I record, there's a, a little bit of lag. 92 damage. Here's what he gets with that without it, his Tekken 6 uh, staple, I guess. Uh, well, I nailed it on the first try. 81 damage. Uh, if you do the 4, 4, 1 plus 2, it would be 86 damage. Five more always than the other two. So, yeah. Um, oh, I should have turned that off. The, oh, well, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. So. You want to get a good filler that does more, significantly more preferably than um, 36 damage. And you want it to be a filler that he could dash up and air throw in the end. Uh, you know, this is obviously discounting walls. You know, usually if it, usually I would try to see if not only if I could dash up air throw, but when it comes to walls, I would see if I could dash up into up forward three to kind of like knock him against the wall and then get a quick wall throw. But uh, let's talk about open areas here. So the cool thing is. A lot of, uh, due to the scaling, you want to get your big hits in the juggle early on, obviously, right after you launch them. In Marduk's case, off of his uh, down forward one, down forward three, down one, the uh, highest damage filler that I've come up with so far that's pretty consistent is that. That's uh, down forward three, down one, two, down one plus two, down forward four, two. The timing on a down forward four, two, a little tricky, but, um... It, it's landed consistently for me, even on even online several times, even on matches that I felt a little bit of lag. I've been able to land it pretty consistently on several size characters. Now I have not tested that on the whole cast yet, but uh, for now, I'd say this is a pretty good uh, choice. 
Now the cool thing about this is if you're Marduk by himself, he cannot end that with an air throw by himself unless he is off axis. You see, they're way too far. If he's, I think, a little bit off to the right here, I'll try it right now. No, that's way too far. Let's, um... Alright, that should be alright, I think. Ugh. Let's try that again. I think it's just down for a 3-1. Ugh. <laughs> Execution is terrible and is a little bit of lag, so bear with me here. Uh, one more try. Oh, come on. <laughs> one more try. This is the real last time. If I don't get it, then. Well, as you can see, it's inconsistent. He can't connect it. It's it's not worth doing when he's by himself. When you add Tag Assault to the mix, though, see if I get it on the first try here. That's a lot of damage. 102 damage. It's not even a counter hit. Even off a down forward one, he gets in the night and upper night mid 90s, I think. So, you want the most damage possible. That was a forward 2 plus 4. We know we get 5 more damage off of uh, forward forward 1 plus 2. But, if you just try to just do that mindlessly. My cash drone. You know, you get that if you try to just dash in and land forward forward 1 plus 2. You know, or if you just try to do it instantly from standing, he's going to be, you know, nowhere near as much range as dash up into that. So, I've discovered a cool little trick here. If you want to dash up and do a 4 4 1 plus 2, there's a nice little buffer window here, and I'll explain it in a second. Unfortunately, uh, input display doesn't really do it any justice, but the trick here is you double tap forward, you know, forward, forward, and you go neutral, and then you press forward 1 plus 2. So boom, boom, boom. That's how you get an easy dash up into that. This obviously only applies when he recovers from a, a tag assault. So, let's see how much damage we'll get if I land this. Ugh. It's more consistent than it looks, I promise. <laughs> Alright, boom. 106 damage off a of down forward 3. Let's see how much that is off a of down forward 1. That's 96 damage off of Marduk's fastest launcher on normal hit. That's uh, a lot of damage, you know. Uh, I guess right now my strategy in, in matches is, uh, especially in open stages, is just to, just to get them down to like 60% or half-life and then get Marduk out there and just try to launch them, you know. <laughs> Obviously, uh, spacing is always a big part in second, but Marduk has pretty good range. Well, okay range, I guess. A lot of those characters have better range, but... You know, if you if you get them down to 60%, or, unless they're solo, obviously, you get them down to like 60%, and then you start landing juggles with you know that do this much damage, that gives them a lot to think about. <laughs> you know, you could end the match with just one down forward three. And you know, it's a very scary thought for them. You know, like, here's an example off of good old kind of hit up forward three. You do that. This is even easier. You know. 111 damage, but the one I showed you, 115 damage. Four more damage for a relatively, like, only a little bit more difficult than the first one I did. And, uh, here's a pretty, here's a cool example of a down back one plus two. Unless you're super off axis, you do that. Because uh, as far as bound moves go, you know, down forward four, uh, two, 43 damage. This is the new one here, VTS forward one. Two is a little bit more damage, but you have to go into VTS for it, and it's just I haven't really found a way to do it fast enough unless you you know use the the built-in VTS off of one one two. So I haven't been able to get really much damage off of it, so I've been ignoring it so far. And uh, but this is a lot, you know, 54 damage as opposed to this bound move, so it's a better filler in uh, this juggle. And uh, I messed that up. Cool. Alright. 110 damage. 
And, uh, you know, obviously that obviously up 4-3 is going to do the most because you have to counter hit to get the launch. But uh, as far as non-counter hit, this is going to be your main damage. Very risky. High risk, but high reward. And uh, that's what Marduk's all about in this game especially. He always was. But more so in this game because he just gets, like, <laughs> as you can see, so much damage. Um... And he's also another cool trick. Uh, if you're, you know, you have your partner out, and uh, another cool way to kind of safely tag out if Marduk is the tag filler in a uh, tag assault juggle. You know, you do your, ugh, you do your usual. Wow, really? <laughs> and then, right. So, if uh, if you see what I did when Marduk came out, down four, three, one, two. Boom. If I had connected the air throw, you know, even though I didn't connect the air throw, that actually keeps Marduk out and still gives you a solid juggle ender. Uh, obviously, you got to be pretty good at VTS canceling and get it down, but, um, yeah, well, you get the idea. I'll try one more time. Yeah. So if he connects the air throw at the end of that, Marduk will stay out. I don't know, I'll just do some stupid simple. Uh. Oh man. <laughs> One more time. Cool. And you know, he'll, he'll, t he'll tack on his air throw and there, and he'll be left out. So yeah, it's another cool little trick there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry if super amateurish, I know. Uh, I'll be getting better equipment in the future and uh, hopefully making more uh, little tip videos in the future as I discover more things. Uh, hope you guys liked it. If you did, you know, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, whatever, all that nonsense. And uh, take it easy.